Hey guys, Niara here, and today I'm coming to you to talk about short versus long crochet braids. Now, crochet braids has been my favorite protective style. I've been transitioning for like a year, and no other style has worked for me instead of crochet braids. So when I was researching, um, finding all about crochet braids, I, I saw most people had like short hair. So I just wanted to come to you guys with a comparison video and see the differences of what it takes to have short versus long hair. Um, I've had crochet braids, this is my third install of crochet braids. Uh, the first two times I had short hair, so I did the short uh, cut in half hair like mostly everybody did and then for summer I decided to go long, right? So yeah. First off, I'm going to talk about the installation. I use Free Trust Bohemian Braid for my short hair and it use, I use about three to three and a half packs each time and the process took around eight hours so it wasn't that bad but if you don't like I'm a person who doesn't like sitting in one place for a long time so around hour six I became restless but the end result is very nice so uh, the hair didn't cost that much it was like $4.99 a pack and I got it at my local beauty store um, easy to find the hair was very nice the insulation process is very easy now with the long hair the long hair was a whole different process like um i use for my long hair this right here is free tress uh deep twist it comes in 22 inches um i used i i used a total of five packs i really needed six packs but i actually have a section here that has no hair because when we were installing it um five packs of hair was already enough and I didn't want any more hair. It was seriously a ton of hair. Like I came out looking like an Amazon one woman. <laughs> like an Amazon woman. But it was a ton it was a ton of hair and I couldn't handle it. So I used a total of five packs for this and my braids are tightly packed in and it came out like this. But with twenty two inches, see I'm only five foot two and 22 inches went down to my butt and that was too long so I cut off about like three to four inches to make it waist length and um, over time I trimmed it. If you want to see, I'll show you guys. So it's down to my bra. Here's my waist. So I still have some waist length hair but overall it's all um, like around bra strength length hair. It took like literally twice the time it was seriously six out 16 hours it took, it took so long and when i was done i was so ready to be done like i was i really i seriously couldn't take any more that's why i left this section of hair out but here's a 360 of um my five packs of free chest deep twist all right there's the back and yeah really enjoy this free trust deep twist i always use free trust i really like free the um their uh their hair and the quality of it even though it's synthetic i really like it and it's not hard to take care of next i'm going to be talking about maintenance now with the short hair um it was with the short hair it was a lot easier like all i had to at night I just put it in the bonnet and in the morning I would just take the bonnet off and shake my hair and it would be good for the day. It was super easy like I had like I seriously cut off a lot of time in the morning when getting ready to go to school or to go to work um, because I didn't have to do my hair like it was that's it I just had to shake and go. Um, and the washing process was easy I took a spray bottle filled it with conditioner and another spray bottle with shampoo and just spritzed my scalp and then just let water run over in the shower and then um, I would just oil my scalp and since the sh hair was short um, it was pretty easy to oil like it's just um, um, easy because you're not dealing with a lot of hair um, the only thing about the free tress bohemian braid and which I use for the short hair after a while like that there would be like uh, knots and they were like balls so it would be like little balls of knotted hair that would be on the end and it would be super frustrating like there was no way like no way to get rid of them you have to cut it off and what I, another thing I found with free trust is if you like sometimes I would try to pull 
like like if I knew the knot was hanging by a little string I'd try to pull it but then the end it was pulling off it would go straight so that's not cute to have curly hair than like straight straggly ends um so yeah that's the only thing about the free trust bohemian bread I got strings it got knotted up on the ends and it got really knotted up in the back area so like when I oiled my scalp I would just detangle and separate the hair and then that would be it long hair takes a lot more work like and like washing the same and distributing product uh, with a spray bottle or oiling my scalp was pretty much the same it's just dealing with a lot more hair and having it was a little harder to detangle because I had so much hair on my head. What I used to oil the scalp and just make sure to take care of my natural hair, I used Dew Grow Oil to, um, I would just run through my scalp like ev every other day. And then um, when I felt my hair was dry, or even the synthetic hair was dry, I used Afri Africa's Best Braid Sheen Spray with Conditioner. I really, I really like America's Best Products. I mean, America's... Ugh. I really like Africa's best products because I like the smell, um, it's easy, and then this is easy, I just separate, go through each row, and then spray or oil it, and then that's how I take care of my natural hair. Tingling was a little bit harder. With this hair, it doesn't knot up, it's just hair clumps together. Like, I would, if you could see, like, a lot of the hair is clumped together to make, like, big twists, and I don't really like that, so it's, it doesn't get knots it just clumps together that's pretty much all the maintenance for uh, long hair is really easy what I would do at night I would I would have to put it up in a ponytail or a bun and so it would all fit into my bonnet and then uh, uh, then in the morning just take the bonnet off and uh, style it the way I wanted it for the day with the short hair you don't get a lot of versatility which is upsetting to me because like um, like, I would just get bored, but, like, the style was cute, like, for every time I had crochet braids, I got a lot of compliments, but with the short hair and just having the afro, that's all I could do with it, and I didn't get a lot of options, um, but the afro, I like, I like my afro, my afro was cute, I really enjoyed it, but that's the only style I could do, I couldn't put it up at all, and I was just stuck with it. With the long hair, I love having longer hair, like I could put it in a bun, I could put it a high pony, side pony if I want. Um, I could do half up, half down. There's so, so many options I had with the longer hair. There was a bunch more, versi a lot more versatility and um, that's the only thing about styling the hair with so many options. Like um, sometimes like when I woke up my hair would be like a big frizz and I would look like a witch lady. So you, with taking care of it, you actually have to take uh, more effort into taking care of your hair to make it look good. Um, but I really enjoyed that because um, I wasn't stuck with one hairstyle. Like I could do a lot, especially with it being summer. That's why I chose to do long hair for summer and a looser curl pattern because I want to do more with it and not just be stuck with the same style and put it up because of the high heat. So if you want more versatility, I would definitely suggest going with the long hair. If you're fine with having one hairstyle um, with short hair, like that, with the short hair, that's great. Um, it's a lot easier. Um, you don't have to do much with it, and you still have a cute hairstyle. But if you want more, definitely go with long hair. So my overview of short versus long hair. The short hair, um, it was really cute and easy to take care of. Uh, the hair lasted long. Um, I wore... Every time I had short hair, I wore it for about two months, right? Um, and it was definitely easy to take care of. Like, when I wore my crochet braids for the two months with the short hair, I got almost, like, I got, like, an inch of growth. You could just spritz my hair and run water through it. Like, if you're looking for growth, if you're definitely looking for growth and not just the hair to protect your style, uh, I would definitely go with braids. Like, the reason I didn't choose a sewing because I wanted to actually take care of my my hair and like with crochet braids you can use any hair types and with braids of course you get growth and it's easy to take care of benefits of long hair you get a lot more styles it's a little more complicated when taking care of it um the only thing with this long hair I don't know if it's just the free chest deep twist but um it didn't last as long like I've had this in for three weeks and like 
the hair at the roots has gone straight if you can see let me show you the hair is like straight and has like no no twist at the ends and then I have some um hairs on the ends that had all in my hair but the hair it loses this hair loses its curl probably because it's a looser curl pattern um but yes it's definitely time to take this out um so I'm looking so I'm gonna take these out soon so in my opinion I think in my opinion I prefer long hair like I prefer being able to choose from different styles and not just have my hair one way and it's still easier to take care of if it was just a sew in in my opinion um the crochet braids are easy for me they work um they're the best protective style for my hair i've been transitioning for a year and i've used this for about six to seven months of my entire transition so i really enjoy the style and yeah that's all so short if you want short hair, if you want easy to take care of, you don't have, you don't have to worry about styling your hair every day. Definitely go with short, long. If you want versatility and uh, cute styles, um, I would definitely go with long. Like I said before, I have been transitioning for a year, and I am finally going to Big Chop. I decide today is Friday. Today, yes, today is Friday, and I'm going to Big Chop my hair on Monday, and I'm super excited. Um, I'm probably going to do like a vlog video of that, um, uh, of me getting my hair cut, going to the hair salon. So yes, um, I'm going to do my Big Chop video and then probably later on do my transition video. Um, this transition video has been very interesting, but I'm going to go through all that um, in my transition story video. So yeah, next time you guys will see me, it will probably be my Big Chop video. So if there's any, if there's any teens out there who are also uh, transitioning or just big chop, don't hesitate to hit me up. Like I love, um, I'm on Hair Lista. I could leave, I'm gonna leave that information down, um, down in the description box. I love communicating and relating to other people. So if you have any questions about how I transitioned or just any questions about transitioning and you're a teen, cause I know all of us don't have money and if you're looking for stuff on a budget and see what I did, uh, don't hesitate to hit me up or you know, just, uh, tweet me, send me a uh, message on Instagram or comment below with any questions and I'll do my best to um, answer all of your questions. You know, Stay tuned for a lot more and yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Easy to take care of. I was easy. Um, no. Yeah, let me get some deflates. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Your hair like deflates over.